Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Nick of Nick Studios and let's get right into it. Okay, so today we are concluding our turn tutorial series. Today specifically, we are going to look at the end phase as well as recap what we've covered before. Over the last few videos, we've gone over the production, order, and skirmish phases. And then again, today we are going to go over the end phase. So during the production phase, we first made tokens, then paid upkeep costs. We then discarded cards to draw more cards. And then if our hand was not already at five cards, we drew up to that amount. And then finally, we refreshed things like order counts and exhausted units. We then went into the order phase where we could summon cards, where we could transfer units between legions or within legions. We could move legions and attack with them. And then of course we could conquer with them. Then we went into the skirmish phase in which we used an attack order during the order phase. And we of course attack an opposing legion who thus counters if they are able to. We apply damage and then units with skills may use them at this time. And then during the resolve step, we remove any destroyed units or lost, gusted, etc. And then finally, we get to the end phase. And this is a very simple phase. If you have any remaining orders, except for attack orders, you may spend them at this time. You may then use any final effects that you haven't, such as a once per turn effect or maybe an exhaust effect. And then we move to the recovery step in which any units with damage recover from their damage. And what that means is simply that you remove any damage to them so that their health has been fully restored. Something that you do not do during this step is remove unused power tokens. And that's because your unused power tokens will remain with you until the start of your next turn. Okay, and that's really gonna cover everything that you're going to go through during your turn. I know that it was quite a lot to take in, perhaps at the start of this series, but hopefully everything now makes sense to you. And in that vein of thought, let's take a look at the board state, because now I hope that you have a pretty solid understanding of what all these icons and words and numbers and such mean. For instance, on the left here, you should recognize that at the upper left corner there, we see the field. That's where we're going to have our territories and where most of the action is going to take place. Beneath that, we have our door. That's where our leaders are going to be placed and where new legions will be formed. And then on the right there, we have our legion zones where we have up to six legions. And beneath that, of course, are the resource zones, which are already labeled. As a quick overview, we are going to, at the start of our turn, draw cards from the unit and resource deck, which then, of course, go to our hand. And then from our hand, we play cards to either the resource zones or the legion zones. And then once we form a new legion, again, we send it to the door. And then from the door, we send that legion onto the field. And of course, on the field, we're going to move our legions around, attack enemy legions, conquer territory, and hopefully just have a great time. And with that being said, thanks for watching. If you've watched the entire turn tutorial series up until this point, an extra special thank you. And as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you too can enter the door to adventure.